You're not live. Welcome back. Hello. I can't believe everybody's here. This is uh, hour two. Hour two <laughs> is that people still want to um, learn more about um, produce. Uh, my husband has new cues. I don't know what this means. Yeah. Keep rolling. Keep talking. Stall. <laughs> Stall. Stall. <laughs> people connecting. Is it connecting? Here we go. People are people are people coming are come, on. They're coming back. They yeah, 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 yeah. Break yep. after the first hour. We still have intermission. Like Twenty people here. Make some noise. So they really <laughs> Right in the comments, uh, whoop whoop back from the table. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about what made us famous. <laughs> but, um, Comment where you're from if you're joining us. Comment if you saw the first uh, first live. And how you found us. And how you found us. Who's ready for some? Strawberries. Yeah. Okay. Back for more. These are organic ones. When I buy them, I always look underneath and try to find one that doesn't have any moldy nasties in it. I see one that's not moldy, but it's like juicy. Let's call it juicy. Uh, I always check them to make sure that they're not going to go to the chickens. Somebody refresh their wine during the break. I have no idea who that was. <laughs> <laughs> See, we do have some. Even checking them, there was one. Texas, Oklahoma. Texas. So you're just kind of going through the strawberries as you put them into the bowl before you start cleaning yeah, them? Yeah, on this side they looked pretty, but on that side, I wouldn't put my hand in there. Okay. Get that out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to do cold water. Ooh, Minnesota's liking our fridge. They saw the mm, saw the first one. Okay. Louisiana saw the strawberry post. A quarter cup of vinegar in the large bowl that holds ten cups of water. Olympia. Olympia. Missed the first live, but hope we saved it. Yeah, I think we saved it. If I did my Instagram uh, job correctly. I did save it. Okay. Two minutes. Go. Two minutes. It's on. Do not listen to TikTok. It's not ten minutes. It's two minutes. Two, two, two minutes. Back from New York. New York. Staying up late. Woo Friday night. You guys have strawberry questions? Post your, comment your strawberry questions if you have any. How do you know that they're right? Yeah, I, yeah, but you, you're not opening them up at the store, so. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Do you ever cut off the ends of the strawberries, or do oh. you always leave the tops on? So I leave the um, I leave the tops on for the first two weeks. Okay. So, um, and then we taught our littles to hold it by the green and eat the red. Mm -hmm. So, but if you leave the tops on, they last longer. Okay. Oh. So, and then, so we do the grocery cycle every three weeks to go to the grocery store. So I don't go to the grocery store except for, like, not in that three-week period. So the first two weeks, we just have them in the jars. They're, they're in with their stems on. And then... Um, Normally at that two week mark, I'm like really looking in the fridge to see what needs to be used up before we go grocery shopping because it's like my goal to like use up as much as we can um, before we go. And um, so, anyways, I'm like on a breath. Um, anyways, that's when I cut the stems off and cut it into smaller pieces. And then I normally put it in a smaller jar. So um, this is a half gallon size, um, but I normally put it in this quart size. If we have any left at that point, so I'm gonna do. So how? So how long do they last? Okay. Strawberries. And how do you keep out condensation? So don't have, just work those in. Okay. Okay. So let's start with this. This is a gallon-sized jar. 
So these are on our Amazon storefront too, these same jars that I buy all the time. But for years and years, we just choose pickle jars. Like you can go get a $4 thing of pickles and use the jar. Um, if you're using a pickle jar and the lid smells, um, we live in Washington, so it's always raining. So it takes a couple more days, but wash the lid of the pickle jar and put it out in the sun. So um, I'm sure in Texas or somewhere, you'd only have to do it for a day. I will, I will leave it up for a couple days and that the sun, yeah, I know sun. We won't have sun again until like next August. So. <laughs> Thank you, um, ultraviolet. <laughs> right, that's the best way to get the smell out of the pickle jars for the lids, because the glass won't hold any of the smell, so you don't have to worry Where about Where do you that. get those jars, though? You do these by clicking my bio, the link tree link, which opens up like six more links um, that takes you to the blog and different um, blog posts that we're doing. It takes you to the Patreon account, and it takes you to the Amazon storefront. Um, and if you go to the Amazon storefront and you buy from there, it helps support us so we can keep building a team and keep getting uh, more posts out to you guys. Um, somebody said two minutes for the strawberries, right? Yes. Let me get an inside talk here for a second and then I'll talk about the condensation. So, okay, the first two weeks that the strawberries are in the jar, I have a paper towel at the bottom. But when I cut off the stems and I cut them into smaller pieces, I take the um, paper towel out. Um, because they'll just get juicy at that point. Um, and then... Do you plan a different recipe with them then once you cut them up, like using yeah. pancakes or something? Yeah, that's what I normally use. Waffles. waffles. Yeah, waffles. waffles. Yeah. We use waffles a lot. And then for some reason, if we have any left at the end, then I throw them in the freezer just like I do the spinach. So then it's our smoothie ones. So how do you keep the condensation out of the jars once they go in the fridge? So make sure they are bone dry. Like, do not put them in the jar right now. Like, we probably won't even put them in the jar tonight. Like, not here while everybody's here. Um, I might just do it just to show you. But um, they have to be all the way, all the way, all the way dry. All the way dry. Like, let them dry out for like three hours. And let them air dry, not do like a paper towel. Like, yeah, they, they have to air dry. Okay. Um, and you should see how nasty this water is, by the way. It's just nasty. But... <laughs> If you've never watched the strawberries, you want to come see? <laughs> Look how nasty it is. Yeah, it's gross. <laughs> well, come see. Double, yeah, oh, well, when you're done, yeah. you can dump it out again like I did earlier. Just do a close-up with the camera. Okay, do a close-up. Here. It's nasty. So, anyways. Yeah, see? I'm a video photographer. But you never watched the strawberries? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I never watched the strawberries. All right, here. I don't think I can I, zoom. Right, we're going to just walk away. No. Yeah. Rinse yeah. walls. Yeah, down the drain. Okay, yeah. yeah. I just used to walk, used to spray mine, so, yeah. Oh, Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys got to come to the side. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That was dirty. Can you see? Yeah. Everybody, you can see? Well, hold it right here. Okay. Dirty, dirty bird. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's right? Yep, yep. Okay. It's not, so, I wouldn't drink that. So when people ask if I reuse the water, no. No, <laughs> no I do not re re reuse the water. When the water is that dirty, that's how I decide whether or not I'm going to rinse something. Because we're guessing there's fertilizer. Yeah, they're still, they still come from a farm. Yeah. And they this come from something. the grocery store, they get shipped, yeah, there's right. all kinds of stuff. Um, this is something interesting that we learned researching things, that normally, honestly, I don't buy strawberries in the winter time. <laughs> I normally buy all of our strawberries for the winter and the summertime and put them in the freezer. There's a whole post on that, how I food save them and put them in the freezer for smoothies. Um, but like this time of the year, I don't normally buy berries. I normally don't start buying them again until um, Valentine's Day, but we went viral on berries and I feel like I have to buy them. But um, I do have flats and flats of berries in the freezer. Is that um, just a choice for seasonal or is it because you don't prefer the farms where it comes from? In so, yeah, so elements? the berries that are coming right now, they only come from two places. They come from um, 
Southern California and Florida and their greenhouse berries until Valentine's Day and then you'll start getting um, sun berries again, berries that were Is there a difference in, like, in flavor? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and we just try to buy in season. So like normally in, you know, in the fall, like I was super excited today because pomegranates are coming back out and that's something that's only out in the winter time or pears, you know, like different things. Um, but now this year, for this year, we're going to be buying strawberries all year just so we can keep talking about it. So, so I, can we touch on pomegranates at some point? Ooh, I brought one, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bonus round. I mean, going to be like, you're not supposed to have them until Christmas time. Yay. So this one's mushy a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. So I would put this like in a bowl or something so Mike would eat it but first, you know? <laughs> hey, just because I like strawberries. <laughs> But that's what I kind of do. I kind of just set the ones out um, when I go to put them away um, that need to be eaten first. I don't put them in the jar with the rest of them because one bad apple ruins a whole basket. It applies to everything. Um, okay, so these are going to lay out and they're going to get bone bone dry. But I'm just showing this. With them wet, so don't ever put them away wet. So it's a half a day, you're saying? It's yeah, like three hours. Like, go home, get home from the grocery store, make dinner, do your thing, and after the kids are in bed, then put your stuff away. Baby frog, you and I are gonna learn about pomegranates. Yeah, cool. Just bought a pomegranate. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so when I when I put them in there, I actually like take a second and I lay them down in there. No problem. Don't drop them in there, or you're gonna end up like just bruising them. I could do it over here. Maybe kind of delicate with them. Yeah, and just a little bit more. So, so the dollar store has jars as well. Do you think that? Yes. Okay, that's a great one. And um, the glass jars at the dollar store are great. You can do that. You can use spaghetti jars. You can do pickle jars. Whatever. Um, I'm a canner, so I would never ever use a dollar store jar to can. Um, I, I only use ball brand um, for canning, for pressure canning. So I, I would never use like dollar store ones for pressure canning. And so then I just don't buy them. But for just in your fridge for storage, yeah. Like anything that's glass and airtight, um, the more plastic that you can get out of your fridge, the better. Um, anyways, do not put them away wet, but I just lay them in there. You're back up to 50 followers what? and rejoined us. Okay, these are wet. This is not what you do, but just lay them in and just gently put them in the rest of the way. If there's any that just need to be eaten a little bit faster, just put them separately in a bowl. And we're so pretending those are dry, but even with the dry ones, do we put a pip towel on the bottom or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Because they'll keep releasing moisture. Moisture. Okay. And so, yeah, over like the next week, they'll keep releasing moisture. Okay. If they were all the way dry when you put them in and they're still wet the next day and there's a lot of condensation, uh, well, if there's a little bit of condensation, then I will just take the lid off in the fridge and I, I will set the lid like next to it in the fridge so I don't forget it, but um, to put it back on mm -hmm. and it'll just evaporate out. Um, if you know that you were in a rush and you didn't do it correctly and they are wet, um, then you can take them back out and put them back on a towel, towel again, put a new paper towel in and wipe the jar out. So if they weren't bone dry to begin with, if they were bone dry, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. It's just a little bit of condensation, just taking the lid off should help. And after that first day or two, it should be good. So then if there's a little bit of condensation, it's okay. Like it's just, okay. But, um, and then they should last like the two to three weeks. But that's something um, for the winter berries you have to really think about. They last two to three weeks from when they were picked. So if it, if you, we got fresh raspberries that were delivered today, you know, and which is great, but if they were like sitting at the store for a week or on a truck for a week, we don't know that. So um, my strawberries were lasting 45 days this summer, but I was getting them from the farm that morning. So just kind of, you know, it's winter time, it's winter time in most places. Um, so just think about that, but they should last at least two weeks. And because you're cleaning them with the vinegar and everything, you don't have to worry about like mold growing on the paper towel or anything like that? Yeah, there shouldn't be any mold unless they're, if they're dry. So, um. Yeah. As far as strawberries go, we'd like to eat the, the like the bright red ones yeah. first, mm -hmm. and then the 
less red ones right, right, right. afterwards, that makes sense? Yeah, okay. yeah, because they're the ones that are going to go bad the quickest. Okay, who wants to move my if you're, over here? If you're joining yeah. us, comment on what, like, what fruit, what vegetable are you interested in? Which one gives you problems? Give us some ideas on for our next uh, blog post. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's do blueberries. They're easy. So blueberries are kind of the same thing. Let's do. They're about the easiest. Berry. Do kids like to help with this stuff normally? Uh, yeah. Remember that one? Oh, the little girl. Yeah. There's the cutest little um, little video I have saved to read the story, but yeah, like counting the berries and putting them in and just teaching them that um, this is where food comes from. This is what food looks like and all of those kind of things. We taught our littles um, that snacks came from the refrigerator. So um, instead of it being from the pantry, like snacks came from the refrigerator. So we have cheese and yogurt and fruit and that was snacks. So um, we tend to be the snack oh, house of the neighborhood, so that's a, that's a good, that's good. And also my class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have allergies, so there's not very many things in packages at our house. Everything's single ingredient items. Oh, two minutes. Ooh, jalapenos, somebody's asking about. Ooh. Jalapenos, I do kind of like the peppers. I didn't bring any peppers today because I didn't. I didn't buy any. Um, we have jalapenos I still in our garden if you want me to. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I learned if we keep the um, pepper plants, that they'll last, if we don't want the chickens in the garden, they'll last for the second year and they'll just be better the second year. Uh, we've always put Do you put it down to the stem? Or I don't know because our chickens normally get in the garden. <laughs> but better, you should look into that. Better is in hotter or better is I don't know. productive? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Production. Probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Normally at the end of the season we let our chickens in the garden, so I've never like tried to do the second year. Yeah, I just did that. Yeah. I would have totally kept them. Yeah, but they're supposed to be better the second year if you keep them. So maybe somebody that lives like in the south or something knows more about that. But I just thought it was interesting. Um, okay, blueberries. I removed the little blue stems and any leaves. Or they're not blue stems. The stems on the blueberries. And then. Um, so blueberries can go in a jar for some reason. They just have a spot in my fridge because I'm like that. And I have them in a flat um, Purex um, uh, container, like the Costco sets. And there's just like one spot that they always go in. Um, and in that, in that container, they were lasting six to eight weeks this summer when we were like trying to see how long we could get them to last. Which well, is just, well, it's yeah. Nice it's just funny because we normally like, Never tried to let anything last more than three weeks, and um, and then when Jordan Page, woo, <laughs> when she um, was asking about my blueberries and was posting it on her page um, that they were lasting a month, I actually went to see how long they were lasting, and it was like seven to eight weeks. They were still like perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, I, I was not allowed to eat the blueberries. No. <laughs> <laughs> the one time told yeah, the one time. <laughs> Like, don't eat, don't eat. So we're like doing experiments here. So, so Jen and Jess Hornbuckle says <laughs> that this is really working because their produce is lasting three weeks now. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Your two minutes is Shout out. It's fun to see. Oh, it's just fun to see friends on here too. We went to elementary school and junior high with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're trying to get Jen to do one of these in her house. So I hope she's like a shout her friends. She was trying to convince me that I should come over and organize her fridge, and I told her she should just have her friends over. <laughs> okay. So blueberries, I'll just lay out, and then they can go in a jar, or they can go flat. Paper towel. But with paper towel. Yeah. So, and all the way dry. Paper towel. And a top on them? So the yeah. strawberries and blueberries are the same? Yep. Okay. Okay. We'll do the raspberries. And you did the same rinse with the vinegar? Mm -hmm. Always the same rinse. Always. Yeah, with this bowl, it's always. Um, okay. This is where you Did you go through the blueberries and pull out all of the I did when they're. Oh, that was good. Squishy uh, 
they float or not float? Like, oh, really? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. So which is which? That was good. I don't know. <laughs> no, like, when you, like, if you see a bad one, there was no bad ones in this one. Oh, um, so bad ones float? Or safe yeah, float? Yeah. I don't know. But you can tell they, like, do something different. Okay. There are no bad ones. All right. But the leaves and stuff and the stems, and I was picking them off as I was talking, and oh, okay. I wasn't even paying attention. That's something I'll have to, like, pay attention to. But, yeah, I totally play with them in the water because they they feel different if they don't feel right. So, I don't know. See, I'm just learning. Like, <laughs> I'm learning what I do <laughs> So as I'm teaching you guys. Okay, raspberries, you have to be, and blackberries. Raspberries and blackberries are the same. So... I get totally freaked out about raspberries and I have to look inside yes. every single one. Oh, every no. single one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'm so excited because we just got these this morning, so I want to see if they're good. They're beautiful. Yeah, I saw the pictures. Yes, on Poor Dave's Market. She's here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and brought us wine and, um, and raspberries, but yeah. Real quick, real quick. Poor Dave's Market has the best beer selection. They do. I have all of this. They, they have all of the like different things. You can get a variety pack. It's it's great. Just a quick shout out. I love the, the beer selection there. Where is Corday's Market located? No, Bonnie Lake. Market is in Bonnie Lake. Roughly 208 and 410. What is that? In Washington. It's lovely though. Lovely, lovely. Okay. I'm trying not to look at everyone, but I have to, so it, I just I can't not. Um okay, so raspberries and blackberries, you treat them the same. They normally last two weeks. Um, if you do it right. So this one I normally put the water in the bowl and don't like pour the water hard on top of them because they're so delicate. Mm -hmm. And vinegar. And vinegar, yep. Um yeah, it's just the, the fall vegetables I'm putting with the vinegar. I don't know. Did you gonna dilute the vinegar and water first? Yeah, I did do that first. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever snack on the ones that need to be eaten? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was not going to make it. <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> I did snack on a lot of cheese today, too, when I was making those uh, charcuterie boards. <laughs> Um, let's see. Raspberries, two minutes. Don't pour the water hard over them. Just let them do their thing. Okay, I'm trying not to look in every single one, but I just can't. Okay. Real quick, a question about uh, how you actually store carrots. So there, we've talked about what you can do with carrots, but storing them and, and you can revamp them. Do some magic to them. I brought carrots. We'll go through this. Any other raspberry right. or berry questions? Any raspberry or berry questions? Do, do the raspberries dry the same? They have to be bone dry. They have to be bone dry. Ooh, that's a squishy one. Um, yeah, but watch what I do. Ooh, okay. Two minutes. Where's my... And all of this applies for, for raspberries and blackberries. And blackberries, yeah. Okay. I don't see any more berry questions. Okay. Oh, wait, I almost did too. I'm just going to start. So I don't always rinse these because the water is just really hard in them. Okay, here's my trick. Ready? It takes like an extra second, but it'll help them last longer. See your berries? I put them that way. Oh, oh my goodness. Hold oh, down. Yeah. Oh, dear. Hold yeah. down. Because the water will sit there and just stay inside of it. Yep, yep, okay. yep. Okay. Hold down on the color, color, color. I seem to do this a lot on a plate, too, in case they don't dry all the way. Then I can just put the whole plate in the refrigerator that night and put them in a container the next day. So, yeah. Hold down. I'm still looking on the inside. It's just one of my things. So is it better to let them dry longer, but then, but 
do this prep right when you get it. Like do the prep right when you get it, but then it's okay to let them dry a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you don't have enough time, you could put it in the fridge to dry, just depending on room, um, on a plate. So, but yeah, if to get them to get them separated out so you have any yucky ones away from it, um, it'll just have it help it quicker. Mm -hmm. That didn't make any sense. They'll make them last longer if you get any of the yucky ones away. Mm -hmm. um, so if you try to do the shopping like on the day and you know pay attention, that's why I like the day that I go shopping. That's all I so, do. So, so a couple questions. Yeah, yeah. What are you looking for inside? <laughs> Creepy crawlies. Yeah. Creepy crawlies. <laughs> yeah. There shouldn't be any, but just to make sure there's no. Bugs or dirt or anything. And then also, does everything go into the jars with a paper towel at the bottom, even if they're bone dry? Berries do. And um, so strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Um, I always put a paper towel in. And then greens and lettuce. Yep. I always put a paper and, towel in. And grapes? A grapes, sometimes it's just a habit. Um, not always. Um, but... Like cucumbers, if I cut them up, or peppers, I don't, carrots, I don't. So just the things, berries and um, the salad greens. So let's do a re recap of like what's happening, why, how we're here. Like, Are you at home or in a studio kitchen? It sounds like there's a lot of people there. Oh. Woohoo! Woo Somebody needs to do a head count. Yes! So Paige, woo -hoo -hoo, she started this neighborhood and um, of ladies because she wanted um, us to get more friends, <laughs> kind of. Like everybody had been secluded over um, the last two years and not making new friends. And so she started a group. She can't be here tonight. But what? Paige? <laughs> but um, anyways, so she had convinced me, well, one, she had convinced me to go out for coffee. That's step one. That is step one. If you know, if you know Amy. Friday, I, well, no, just me and her went out for coffee first. I'm like, what are you selling? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what multi-level marketing program have you ever heard of? Anyways, I actually, I met her and went out for coffee, which I haven't done in two years. I hadn't left and went out with a friend, especially a stranger, in two years. And then over the last month, we became really good friends. She just came over and had dinner at my house and... Um, she is the one that I've called crying a couple times <laughs> with things, but um, we became really good friends, and um, she started this group. So Paige, woohoo! I hope you're yeah. watching this on the replay. And um, anyways, and she convinced Jenny that had a bigger kitchen and a bigger living room than me that we should do this at her house, mm -hmm. and that was like a month ago. Mm -hmm. It was way before I went viral and had 68,000 followers. So um, it's just it's just crazy how in the last like three weeks we went from just starting out to all of a sudden we have followers worldwide. And um, so yeah, that's how we're here. So there's like 20 of us here. And can you recap? I know we talked about it in the first hour, but kind of what your inspiration was for starting this for the Cross Legacy. For the cross legacy, well, okay. Our last name is Cross, and the Cross Legacy has always been like our motto in life um, to like live a legacy and wanting to like be better for the next generation. And then um, our, since I said my last name, but my family last name, like my mom's side of the family and all my cousins, whoop, whoop, we're all branches. So um, all of my family is branches. So our logo and stuff will always have a branch on it. And our family tree is like a big deal, like for our family tree. Um, so everything's really symbolic to us. Um, so, I know. So. <laughs> Anyways, Mike and I have always believed in, in like changing the legacy of our family and change and like making it better for the next generation, like all the things. And, <laughs> and um, anyways, so about five years ago, I just really had started praying about what it was that 
was going to help me reach other moms. I used to, I'm 45, when I was like 22, I started a mops group at our church and was the um, director and started the mops group at our church, which is the moms group that helps reach out to other moms. And, um, and it was a really big thing in our lives to always like be mentors to the, the next generation. And I grew up that way with my grandparents and neighbors, like making sure that I was learning from them and learning, you know, just generational change is really important to me. And um, so at the end of the day, like the Cross Legacy is something that we've prayed about for like five years. And we never, ever thought when we started posting about a blog that it was going to end up being about strawberries in a jar. We thought, <laughs> we thought this was going to be um, about like our chickens and um, urban gardening and canning and those kind of things. But like, I think everybody is just really concerned about food security and mm -hmm. having things last longer and feeding their families. And um, we have allergies in our family. And so I, I've been through this for a really long time of like trying to make sure that we had safe things that our kids could eat. And when, when the pandemic started and like the grocery store shelves were empty, that was really scary. Like to not be able to go get the gluten-free flour that we needed to get to our, and not know when it was going to be back in store again. And um, just to help teach other families how to eat better and not to rely on getting takeout is just, it's really important to me. Um, so anyways, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make a connection and to spend more time with moms and to teach them skills and learn from other moms and other women. and. Um, and along the way, like, um, we need to build a team and we need to have support and help. And to do that, to help the Cross Legacy, the best way that people can help support us so that we grow is to join Patreon, which is a $10 mem membership um, per month. It was just saying that we know that you're doing something good and we want to see you grow and see you continue to reach out to people. And with that membership, then you get some extra special live things and discount codes. And I get to um, be more involved with each person that's in that group. But um, just by signing up, you're saying that you believe in us and you support us and you want to see us be able to te teach more families. Um, so anyways, that's my plug for Patreon. <laughs> So to, just to jump on here real quick, uh, a few people are like, "We're gonna try and save this. We've saved the first one. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna save this again." It's the first time. Yeah, it's the first live we've done. So, um, and if you're in there, uh, shout out to like if you want to see another live, if you want us to come to your house or what we want to do. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Where should we go? What's next? Canada. I'm ready. <laughs> Patreon member only once a month call. So for Patreon members only, they get a live call with me on Monday and they get to send me pictures of their fridge or pantry or special allergy diet requests and I can help them with those kind of things. Um, and they are all part of a um, members only community group. So they get to do that. Okay, who's ready for these? Yes. So, who washes these? No, you're peeling. Okay. Yeah, nobody washes them, right? So they oh, get man. all moldy and gross. What? Do the ones I eat, do you, do you wash them? I wash them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was freaking out for a second. I wash them and it kills the mold spores on them. So same thing as always, just in the bowl with a quarter cup of um, vinegar water. And then when they are washed, um, you can keep them on the counter or on the fridge or whatever. But if you're not going to use them up and you're only going to go shopping once every three weeks, you can actually put these whole in the freezer. Mm -hmm. it, what? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, they can actually go whole in the freezer. With the peel on? Mm -hmm. Just like this, yeah. Yeah, they can go whole in the freezer. And then if you're worried about them not being at the stores or something, you have some in the freezer. So how do you eat them after they're out of the freezer? They I'm just, learning something here. What's going on? <laughs> they just need a couple hours to defrost, and then they're like perfect. So you let them defrost. You can let them defrost, and then you just eat them normal. You just eat them normal, like you wouldn't even know. No, you have them defrost in order to peel them. 
probably. I'm thinking it's probably going to be yeah. difficult. Yeah. Probably. But if people are worried about food security issues and have a little bit of room in the refrigerator freezers, they could throw some oranges in there. Oh. And Love Life to the Max wants to know what your what vegetable fruit you're talking about right now. Oranges. 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 What? These so, are um, cuties. So is it just cuties or navel no, oranges? No, all the oranges and lemons. You can do the same thing. Mine has the middle thing, so I always set the bowl right there on the. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I get like really big bags of these yeah. at the store. I get 50 pound bags of, of onions and I get 25 pound bags of oranges. And yes, we throw out at least three to five, six of them with mold. Yeah. They come in. And so and they touched all the, the other. Middle. Yeah. Yeah. Like they got wet or somewhere they got wet and then they got stuck in the middle. So we actually emptied the bags and we didn't know that until we opened the store. Right. So we had to like dump them into a box and then go through them one at a time. So there's, yeah, so there's mold on the, the skin. So if you're washing them, when you bring them home, you're stopping the mold. So Amy, so, does it matter if you're using a metal bowl or a glass bowl to wash everything? The, um, all I know is somebody said that they were having issues, and then when we were um, going back and asking questions about it, they were using a plastic bowl. So I well, always use plastic bowls. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't have any plastic bowls, so I don't know. <laughs> but um, I always use a stainless steel bowl because it fits right in my sink. Um, and then I have glass mi mixing bowls that I use sometimes too, but I wouldn't use plastic with the vinegar. Um, but the, the metal and the, the and glass, glass are interchangeable. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that was oranges, so citrus. So is this the same thing you would do for lemons and limes? Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Same thing. Can you freeze them too? Yeah. Yeah. Are you yep, can... all citrus. Limes, lemons. People yeah. are asking about limes. Um, I think people just like mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> I should say the lime stuff, or the lemon, okay. Because that was the last call, or the last one. But the avocados. If you've watched the post, I'm just going to say it again because um, it was on the end of the last one. But my avocados last forever, and we couldn't, we couldn't figure out what was the real trick about it. And then we realized when we were researching for the blog that I always keep my avocados and my lemons in the same drawer in the refrigerator, and they release off of a gas that helps each other stay fresh longer. So if you keep those two items, put them in the same crisper drawer, um, together and see if that helps them last longer. So does it have to be just those two, or can it be mushrooms are in there too? Or oh, I mushrooms put, I put to... mushrooms in the other drawer, and I don't have any with me. The mushrooms you do not wash, and you keep in a brown paper bag. So what kind of vinegar is it again? Okay, give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rapid fire over here. Heinz really needs to give you some love. What what happens happens if you Shout out to Heinz. Right? Yeah. What happens if you have an avocado without that little butt? Like that butt falls off? Like oh, you buy it and like you get home and you're like, oh, the butt fell off. That's it's just there. Yeah. So. yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. So you can sometimes tell if they're right, if they're that way. Mm -hmm. So this was funny. So Suzanne, who helps me like make sure my words get on paper, um, she was asking me how I check to see if the avocado is how I like it. And um, anyways, if you go like this with your fingers, this is what I this is how I decided to describe it. If you go like this with your fingers, that's what I try to that feeling is that's, what I feel oh, for this. So just that's that interesting. Cush. Yeah. Huh? Just okay. that a little a little cush. Yeah, a little just a little bit of gas yeah. She was like, How do you describe that? And I was like, I sat there for a few minutes and I'm like, it feels like this. Oh, I like that. That is but, so yeah. So that's interesting. So, and then hold on. And so the avocados, they they only get picked like twice a year, and they get sprayed with something I can't pronounce um, that helps them ripen faster. And so if you see, yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the avocado prices are going up right now because last year there was a freeze in Mexico, and it's affecting the prices that of the avocados we're getting right now. But um, anyways, the... Oh. So, the avocados, they've been sprayed, um, and once you put them in the refrigerator, they stop the ripening process, 
So if you have them and they're rock hard, you want to put them on the counter first and then put them in the refrigerator. If you put them in the refrigerator and then bring them back out and think that you can put them on the counter, it doesn't work. Okay. So it has to be the ripeness first. So I don't buy rock hard ones anymore. I buy the ones exactly how I want them and put them in the fridge. And then, um, and I'm picky with them when I'm at the store. Um, and I put them in the fridge and they last for a month. So in you the only jar put them, with lemons. You only put avocados in a jar if you cut them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny though? Um, love life to the max. It's very participatory tonight. Um, so she said, do you put the, so did you say that you put the mushrooms dry in a jar? No. In the fridge? I put the mushrooms dry. You don't wash them, don't wash them, don't wash them. Um, in a brown paper bag. So. And it doesn't matter the variety right. of mushroom. Yeah. Just put them dry in a paper bag and a brown put them in paper, the crisper. A brown paper bag. Crisper? Brown paper bag. If you have room. We have a like spot up on the top that I put mushrooms in. Um, this is the other thing. I don't really like fresh mushrooms that much, but I really like mushrooms. <laughs> so, and I dehydrate them in our dehydrator. Um, it smells like swamp. Oh, like, it's just... <laughs> So bad. bad news. <laughs> so I tried to do a whole lot at the same time, and then when I dehydrate them and put them in a jar, they'll last for like two years. Um, so, and I like eating them dehydrated as a snack. So I'll eat like a whole handful at a time as a snack, and I can throw them in anything, um, and then you don't have to worry about them getting mushy in the fridge. Um, so when you dehydrate, it sucks all the moisture out of them, yeah, right? So yeah. then you just put them in the jar. Yeah, and not in the fridge. Yeah, they oh. just go on my pantry shelf, but. It smells like swamp. <laughs> so just so you know. Do you have a link to a dehydrator on your on my Amazon card? Okay, it's right. the stainless steel one that I have that I like. Um, so so Auntie Nessa wants to know. Auntie Nessa. Since you mentioned mojitos, how do you <laughs> store mint? Ooh, mint. Well, Mike just goes out to the garden and gets it because we planted that little plant when, you know, 15 years ago and it's taken over half the garden. Yeah. Side note, yeah. plant mint in a container of yeah. some sort. <laughs> um, mint. Yeah, we don't normally bring mint inside, but the cilantro and parsley, um, we do that. We wa I wash it and dry it just like everything else. And then I put the in the jar. In the refrigerator. So my cilantro that I just used the last of, it was like over a month old um, in the jar. So <laughs> you're like, what? Off, off the stem? Uh, yeah, on the stem. On the stem? Yeah, on the stem like flowers. Okay. And I'll just put it in the jar. And then like every week or so, I'll just go in and I'll cut, I'll take the scissors and trim the ends. And that helps it refresh just like flowers. In water or dry? In, in what? In, in what? Just like this. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is that any herb then? Or yeah, I don't I, think... your picture of basil looked a little different than my picture. Of oh, basil. that's that's a live plant. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Auntie Ness is going to ask the rosemary. I had I bought this little rosemary that was like this big at Trader Joe's like three years ago, and we had all of our neighbors come over this spring and filled up a yard waste tub, and it's still this big. Like, it's huge. Rosemary <laughs> loves our front yard. Yeah, it loves our yard. Um, anyway, so I never store rosemary because it's always outside. Um, but, like, the parsley's and the cilantro, um, the basil's a live plant. Um, I just trim off the ends, like, once a week, and then keep it in the water. And normally, like, I use it up before they go bad, but, like, three weeks a month. Thanks, Iowa, for joining. And the cilantro, herbs, that kind of stuff does not get covered up in no. <clears throat> in the fridge. Yeah. If it's yep. in a glass jar in the water, it doesn't get covered up. Right. Some people put a plastic bag over it, and it's supposed to help it stay longer. I don't need to do that. I use filter water, not tap water. Um, and I think that makes a difference. I think the plants like it um, more. So if you don't have a Berkey filter, um, use your fridge water or get um, filtered water. Um, but your city tap water, it just, your plants won't like it. Um, do you guys want to talk tomatoes? tomatoes? Yeah, we're coming up on 930 right now. What? So we've already blasted through probably another 45 minutes. Okay. So we've probably got about... About 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so let me know all your questions. And then if you want more questions, Monday at 5 o'clock for Patreon. Monday at 5 o'clock. And 
comment if you want to see any more lives. We do carrots and celery since tomatoes yeah, are kind yeah. of the same. Yeah. So, um, little tomatoes, um, I put, after they're dry, I'm dropping them, I put them in a jar. Um, I normally put a paper towel in them. Yeah. So I just put them in a jar. And normally they'll last a month. So in the paper jar. And then the basil, I leave on the counter. It's a live plant <clears throat> or on the windowsill. And then he can make his little caprese. I was just going to say, <laughs> what is that called? I don't even like tomatoes, but you've got me eating me tomatoes. You've got me. This year. You have really? got me yeah. to eat tomatoes. You don't like them either. So, but you're eating them? I've, yeah. I'm telling you, I don't even know what's going on with my life right now. <laughs> I've been anti-tomato for 45 years. Yeah. Good way to do it. I know. Yeah. This is the all my reduction. <laughs> so this is a weird question, but does the paper towel matter? The brand or the style oh, no. or no. anything? Yeah, anything? you can use like bamboo paper towels or whatever. Um, and people always ask me that. Sometimes they, oh, I just put it here. I have these like micro, microfiber towels. Sometimes I'll put those in the bottom of jars that I don't like that the raspberries stain them. So I don't do that. Okay, you want celery carrots? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we had celery requests. Yeah. Okay. So celery, cucumbers. Cucumbers are here. Do we? What do we do? do does stuff ever go bad? Well, you, yeah. You monitor it, and maybe you do you freeze it if it's starting to look shady, and <laughs> do you? So this one's shady. <laughs> do you um, put it in the freezer? Sometimes. Um. So like. Like this fall, I was able to get um, peppers three for a dollar, and I bought 30 pounds of them. Like a whole cart full of peppers. Um, a lot of peppers. A lot. And it was no joke. <laughs> I was like, are you for real with the peppers right now? They were 30 cents, and they're three dollars in the store right now. So, <laughs> they were 30 cents. So I, um, so like those, I sliced up and I put in the freezer, so they, they'll last all year and I don't have to um, worry about them being three dollars <laughs> during the winter time. So any ones that I'm going to use for recipes, like cooking, I'll just pull those out of the freezer. And then any fresh ones that we're going to use, then I'll just buy a couple fresh ones um, for over the winter until until next year. So. So I normally, I'm like a farm girl and I can, so I think of things in seasons and try to buy in season when it's cheaper um, and fresher and better and all the things. Um, so peppers, do you slice them? Cut slice them up the slices and then put them in jars? Uh, for the freezer or for fresh? Fresh. Fresh. Um, normally I leave them fresh like bell peppers. They have a special spot in my fridge and I leave them in there washed right when I do it um, for the first two weeks. And then as I use them, then I'll slice them up and I'll put them in the size jar. And then they last another week after they're cut. So sealed though in sealed. the fridge. Yep, in the jar. And um, so that's our three week grocery cycle. So those peppers chopped up are great on salad. <laughs> you can make a quick salad for lunch. It's so great. If your wife made salad dressing. Yeah, yeah. Homemade <laughs> salad dressing, game changer. Okay, salary. <laughs> See, this is another one of my favorite things. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that what you did before the celery? Oh, no, it was the salad. lettuce. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought it was the celery. But I do it every time. Like, that, I that always thing. show it the littles, too. Like, I think it's so cute. But anyways, um, these, this part of it, I normally save after I wash it. And the tops. Here, let me just do this quick. So I normally wash these separate. But just for time's sake. So I save this part of it washed and dried. I save this part of it. And then if there's any clean parts here, sometimes I'll go back in and cut the um, celery end of it. But I save these for bone stock. So, um, oh. and I just put them in a Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer. And then when I'm doing um, the carrot peels, I'll throw them in the bag. And when I have a full bag, then I can make stock. So anyway, so you don't have to, this is just like the throwaway part that you say. Um, and we're going to be making stock next week to teach people because um, I want you guys to make turkey stock because it's the best ever. So yes. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to make it before Thanksgiving so they can save their turkey um, carcasses. Um, this is funny. Is Aunt Nessa still watching? Yeah. So. I was just going to say. <laughs> 
So my sister-in-law, she used to make, she used to take our carcass like every time and save it to make her own stock. And I was just like, why don't you just buy it at the store? And um, I didn't have time to make um, homemade stock. That was years ago. It was years ago, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so then as our family started needing to watch ingredients and stuff more, we realized that um, the chicken stock that I had normally bought at the store, they had changed the ingredients in it and it was no longer safe for us and we didn't know. And we couldn't figure out how come it was like always making someone sick that um, it was like the same stock that I always bought. Well, they had changed the ingredients in it. And like when you have allergies, you have to just check it every single time. You just don't know. That's so funny I did that. But um, anyways, so um, I started making my own stock and I will never go back. And now I feel bad that I used to tease Vanessa for making her own. Or anyways, <laughs> but now everybody has to make their own because <laughs> you'll never go back. And like I've had surgery in the past and they told me that I've had to like drink like chicken broth or whatever. And then you like try to drink chicken broth from the store and it's like, ooh. It's bad. And it's so it's bad. bad. Yeah. yeah. Like I will sit seriously sit and sip a cup of broth mm -hmm. that I've made. Like it's so you good. You could make a lot of money from, uh, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to take your scraps and make it. But if you have a... um. If you make a whole chicken or get a rotisserie chicken, if you just take the carcass, if you're not make, if you're not doing it right then, and just throw it into the freezer, um, and then when you're ready to make the stock later, then you can just pull it out and do you it. Did you just so, use like a gallon size Ziploc bag? Gallon or? size Ziploc bag. I have two in the freezer right now to do the blog post. Um, so, anyways, sometimes I just do this in the sink, and sometimes I do it. Um, I just cut them up smaller so they fit in the bowl better, but. If you noticed, um, just out of habit, because it was bugging me, they were super dirty in the middle. And so I, when I was talking, I noticed I had just ran the water down the middle because it was gross. So anyway, so the celery, after I had rinsed it, I, yeah, I guess I rinse it first and then I put it in the water. So we'll do that. And then the carrots, um, I just normally wash them and I try to wash the end really good. Did you put vinegar in there too? Yeah, there's vinegar in there. Wait, vinegar. There's vinegar in this bowl. But um, anyways, if the top is dirty, I just try to wash it, and then I'll just cut them so they'll fit in there. I'm not gonna do all these tonight. But when I wash the carrots, um, normally, so okay, here this is good. So at the end of the night, I'm tired, and I do the things that really matter the most that first day like you know so the carrots I don't need to cut up the carrots that first night and prep them but I can wash them and dry them and just throw them in the crisper jar and then the next day when I'm making dinner or whatever then I'll cut them into sticks and I'll put them in a in a container um, I always make sure I do the lettuce and the the berries that first day all the way to the end but you know extra things like this that you don't need to do that first day I don't always do um, and do not peel them. I do not peel them. Yeah, yeah. And um, well, if I'm putting them in a container, I do. But if I'm so if I'm just throwing them in the crisper drawer, then I'll throw them in the crisper drawer. Um, sometimes they're in the crisper drawer for two weeks, if, but they've already been washed. And if you need to refresh them, you can put them in a jar of filtered water, or they're going to taste like chlorine, and they will go from being totally limp um, to like snapping again. I have a couple of videos where I've like tried to totally kill um, celery and, and uh, carrots, carrots in the fridge over the last couple months because normally I wouldn't let them get like that. <laughs> but um, anyways, just for Instagram purposes, there's a couple of videos on there of... Um, ones that we let just totally die um, and I refreshed. So then when I do go to cut them, I normally cut them in sticks that are this long. This is actually like the perfect length that fits in my container that I put them in and in sticks. So they're peeled in sticks and then I can always just go back in and dice them really quick if I'm throwing in them into um, meals or whatever. But Mike will eat them as snacks if they're in sticks. So um, it's just handy. Just my, yeah, you know. Just to make them eat them easier. So if you have limp ones that you're trying to figure out, go look on Instagram and there's the video for that. 
And then the cucumbers, I just wash them, get them out of the plastic, out of the plastic, take them out of the plastic, and then I wash them. Um, but those, not all cucumbers come in plastic. That's no, a certain type of cucumber. The English cucumbers. Um, anyways, but get them out of the plastic, put them in the water. These you don't have to watch so much for two minutes. Just kind of do your thing while you're doing it. But um, the cucumbers I normally put in the crisper drawer. And they will last after they're dry for two weeks. And then as I cut them up, I put them in a, a jar so they're ready for salads. And then they'll last cut up for another week after that. So that gets us to the three-week grocery cycle that we do. Um, if you keep the peels on them, it helps them last a little bit longer than if you, you took the peels all the way off. Um, even taking like, we do it in strips sometimes, where you just take like half the pill and it kind of, it looks fancy. Um, racing stripes. Yeah, the racing stripes. Racing stripes. I can't think. So you, you you use some and then you stick the rest of it in a jar. Yeah. It with water. Yeah. But there's no vinegar or anything in that water, just mm -hmm. filtered water. No, 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 there's no water. It's dry. Oh, just in a jar. Just in a jar. Your cut cucumbers go in just a jar, a sealed jar. Mm -hmm. in yeah. The fridge. Yeah, just our peppers, everything in that salad drawer jar thing that I was talking about I guess I could do a whole video on that yeah for sure because <laughs> it is like super easy to make a salad and who doesn't I don't know I mean I like salads the especially in the summer but... cutting up all the stuff yeah, yeah. it's kind of like... do it in bulk yeah. yeah so this size jar is what I normally throw it in but you just put it in oh in a jar and it'll last for a week do those have to be bone dry nope yeah, they won't get blunt. You do not have to put these on a towel. Somebody was sending me a video the other day that she had them all dried out. They're never going to dry out. Yeah. You don't have to put paper towels in it. Just put it in a jar. I normally do it in a smaller pint-sized jar. Um, and they'll last for a week with the peels on at least halfway. Um, and it's still like five days sliced with them, not um, without the peels on. Is it because you wash it in vinegar that makes it last? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cucumbers have like 96% moisture. Uh -huh. like they're, they're the cucumbers, water. yeah. yeah. Water, yeah. yeah. Have you tried water. to put it in the jar without washing the cucumber with vinegar first or any of this? Um. Yeah, yeah. So it's, we've done experiments where we just throw the box of strawberries in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I mean the dry, like you would yeah. wash it in water, dry it, like the grapes or the strawberries without the vinegar, and then put the dry strawberries in the jar, but, or is it because of the vinegar, is what I'm asking? The vinegar helps kill the mold spores. Okay, so um, you have to do that. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So the vinegar is really... It's really important. Really important. Okay. It's really important. I, yeah, it, it's really important. Do you keep the carrots in water? I don't, I don't store the carrots in water. Um, some people do. Um, I think it tastes like the water um, when you do. Kind of lose the flavor. Yeah. But after you cut them up, you just yeah. don't store them in water. Nope. I just put them in an airtight glass container, and they last three weeks. <laughs> um, three weeks to four I'm weeks. Peeled. Peeled. Oh, peeled. Um, if I'm just throwing them in the crisper drawer, then I'm peeled. So that, and then that, in the crisper drawer, they last like two weeks after they are um, already clean. And, um, yeah, after they're already clean, and if they do go limp, because I need to go limp, then I just put them in filtered water overnight, and they, they go back exactly like they were before. It's like magic. I have videos on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're probably running out of time. What do you guys want? Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. We, are, we, are we, have we crossed over the, the time? We're getting close. We should probably, um, I don't, I didn't check the time when we started, but we're Mine getting close. It's off? Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, there you go. Maybe we're done. Did it go off and we didn't know? Mm -hmm. It says it's paused. Well, you're, oh, at pause. 50, you're at 55. No, you're at 55. 55 minutes? Okay, last questions. What do you guys think? 55, 50. Yeah, mine's still mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the only <laughs> The only stuff that you leave out on the counter in the jar is going to be oh. your... Oh. That was it. That was it. Nope. Woohoo! Okay. So the only stuff you leave out like this is the broccoli. Mm -hmm. 